right, so I did just walk in and I rifled through this cart right here and I did grab a couple of things. Um, I got a pair of Loren um, women's like little booties. I did get a pair of, let me see, what are these? Michael Core Espadrilles. These are really cute too. Really nice condition. I don't know about this brand, but they look nice. I'm not, I think it says Novade. They're made in Ghana. Um, just an interesting piece. I did find a little pair of dance goes and um, I did grab a pair of Sorel boots. These are so nice. Um, and you know, they didn't mark them up at all. So I'm gonna put those in the cart and I'm happy about that. And we're gonna head, let's go ahead and look at the other cart. Since no one is here and it's quiet, I'm gonna hit all the carts I can as quickly as I can, okay? Oh, here's a nice pair of coach coach um, drivers. These look, oh, they need a little bit of polish, but I'll have to check for rips, okay? So that, that I will have to look over a little better. Here's a pair of New Balance cleats. Um, I did recently buy a pair of cleats, but these actually look pretty good. So I'm gonna grab those two. Um, Here's a big old pair of Hanes socks. I don't know if those are any good, but we'll, we'll put that in a cart too. Now what's in this bag? These are medical socks. Okay, I, I've tried to do medical socks before I had a pair and honestly, you can send them new. The person will get them, they will try them on, decide that they don't fit, and then they will send them back to you. And at that point, they are no longer new. So I'm just letting you know that with medical socks, I'm, I'm just gonna skip it. So for any of you that do and it works out, then you know I'm really happy for you, but that has been my experience. So, you know, with, with that being said, then you have, you know, you can, you'll think about it, I think a little bit more before you, you do it, so. Oh. That's really pretty. That is really pretty. That's a nice Cole Haan. I love that. That's gonna. I, that's a really nice one. We have some really nice Easy Spirits. Oh look, those are really cute too. Those look like brand new. I'll have to think about those also. Got some pink Talbots. I'm not, that's have some stains on the front, so I'm gonna leave those. But we're just gonna keep on going down here and see what else we can find. There's some inks. These are those cloud puffy ones. Some Franco Sardos. Um, oh, those are some universal threads. Some bass. Those are Christian Sorianos. We got some Skechers. Some bass. Naturalizers. Okay, what's down here? No boundaries, okay. Let's see what else is down here. Well, I, I did find a couple of things. Um, nothing, nothing crazy. These are nice. Are these Sperry's? Oh, those are actually Nauticas. They're nice, but I know that I know in the past that Nauticas haven't done very good for me. So I am going to leave those. And those are Timberlands. Okay. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna check over here in the over here in the bins. Some wallets. I'm gonna put this up here just so I can see better. That would be. No, none of those were great. I'm gonna put this one up here too, so it's they're all nice and neat up there. That's a Victoria's Secret. Okay, so I didn't grab any wallets yet, but I'm gonna keep looking because you just never know. You never know what you're gonna run into in this place. This is, okay, so this is brand new. I don't think it's, um, it's just a generic wallet. It's it's um, like a patent leather type of thing. We have a little evening bag. This is kind of an interesting one, but I don't, 
it's not speaking to me. I don't know why, but let's put that up here with the other wallet so people can at least see them. So they're up here and they're nice, okay? We got some more stuff down there. Let's try this one. This is an interesting hat. It says a size large, but I'm really not sure. Different. Okay. So I'm stopping here because I did see I did see the Mickey. This one is actually very cute. I think I can get that spot off on the front. I don't think it'll be bad. You know, I'm gonna put this in the cart and we'll, we'll see about that. So they still have a bunch of this Vera Bradley here. It is still sitting here and they have some, some phone ones too. I don't know what this is gonna be. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen one with that many credit card slots. If you got that many credit card slots, you're probably in trouble. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that right back up there. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't feel very good. And I know I've been down here. So you know what, I think what we'll do is we will hit the purses. I think my timing was kind of good when I came in because it was very quiet back here. That's one of those Bach purses, but once again, the last time I grabbed one of those, it just wasn't a very good one. What's, what's this right here? Oh, it's Fossil. Okay, well, let's grab this and we'll take a look. It's got a bunch of stuff hanging. I don't even know if I can get it off of there. Let me see. Okay, what's it hanging on? Oh, okay. So I know that's leather. It's like a like a very light mustard yellow. The inside is actually clean. Just has has a little bit of junk in it. Um, I also wanted to see this one since I was down here. I'm gonna see what this one is too. I'm gonna bring two purses up and I'll show them to you. I'm gonna take a look and see what we have here. Okay. So this is the fossil. Just has a little tassel. The bottom is is good on it. That actually looks pretty good. So I'm gonna toss this one in. And then this one, I don't know what it is, but I love this color. It's kind of like a bone white. Um, I don't know. It has a label in it, what's it say? Oh, it's a Target one, okay. So we'll put that right back where we saw it. We'll come up here and make sure that we catch them all up here too. Some of this stuff has been here a while and I know you're like, I've seen that before. So have I, I have too. So it's always nice when they get some new stuff but they don't, they don't shuffle it here as like some of the other stores do. B works. That is really kind of abstract. I kind of like it. Let's. All right, let's take. Here, sorry. I'm trying to get this big one off the front here. So I want the big one. I'm gonna put that right there. So there's the B works one. That's kind of interesting. And then I thought this was pretty too. This is um, just a blue. Um, bag it feels really nice it is extra here okay so cute that means it's leather it's definitely leather that's that's a beauty right there yep I'm gonna put that one in the cart okay let's see what else we have here got some bright blue This one. All right. All right. I'm gonna go. Want to trade sides? Sure. All right. 
All right, I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna come back down to the end in the black so I can kind of take a, a look. That one, that one doesn't feel too bad, but I don't know what that is. Look at the cute little um, clutch right there. This one doesn't feel too bad, but it doesn't have anything um, on it. We do have a bunch of the small purses down here. I don't think any of those have haven't even have moved. So I don't think they put anything down here. It's been a few days too. That's kind of surprising that they didn't, um, none of them moved. Here's our, here's our knockoff Chanel. Oh, that's cute. I like that. I like that one. Okay. That's adorable. Look at the Mickey, the mini ears on that. Yep, definitely a Disney. That's very cute. I really do like that. I'm gonna put that in the cart. Okay. What's that one? Sarni, okay. Well, I think, I think I'm good on the purses. Uh, let's go ahead over here and finish up in the, oh, that's really cute. I think I've made this piece before. I, I, I definitely have made this before. That's really cute. This will be something I will, I will pick this up. It's all glazed. It's, um, it's ceramic. It's hobbyist made. Um, it'll go in, it'll go in the antique booth, but I will, I will take that for $4.99. Yeah. Because it has the light kit and everything in it. And you know, like I said, I know it's hobby is made. I've seen the mold before, so. We'll grab that. We'll come over here and we'll walk through the shoes. I didn't think I was gonna find as much today, but it does, it does look like I'm gonna have quite a few things to, to go through. That's good, but I really think it's just because, you know, I, I got here right when the carts came out. Okay. What are these right here? Cushionaire, okay. Those are some cushionaires, what are these? Up still Forever 21s, okay. So we'll go ahead and we'll go this way. It's a marrow, sorry. Sorry, I was looking at these with the, um, oh my goodness, what's it? the espadrome? material on them. Those are Clark's. Be and we got some BZs. We got some Chinese laundry up there. We got some Lucky Brand slippers. Those are cute, but I, I just, I don't think they're gonna sell the way the Uggs do. So I, I think I'm gonna put that one back. Oh, what are these? Lazy Bones golf shoe. Interesting. These are very small, and I'm not sure how to put those back together, so I think I'm gonna leave them. Lazy Bones, okay. These are Nine West. There's some neat stuff out there. Um, I can honestly tell you, there's, there's some neat pieces. I, I did see the tree torn before, but they had a lot of wear on them. That's probably why they're, that's, the tree torns are usually a really nice one, but they've been here, they're here because, because I think of the wear on them. <coughs> Excuse me, that was some Croft and Barrow. No, those don't have a label. What these are I think I've seen those those are the part of the luckies down there yeah these are the lucky brands right there but I know I don't want those we do have some salmon libbies Kim Rogers okay all right all right let's check the end cap over here see so we can come in behind over here 
I keep going. What are those? Clark's, okay. Sorry, this, it got a little crowded over here all of a sudden. I'm gonna pick this shoe up. I did not knock it over, believe it or not, but I'm gonna pick it up. I'll put that right back there. Okay, let's, let's go around the end. I'll go back to that aisle when it's, when it's um, empty. Now these look like some all birds, but those are pretty worn in. Um, not seeing anything I have to have. Okay, let's keep going. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. We do have some timber lens up there. What are those? Ah. What are these? See, I'm always making sure things like that aren't Doc Martens and stuff because I usually do pretty good with them and they, for some reason, they don't usually mark, mark the Doc Martens up. I mean, if they do here, they, they're, they're usually in very good condition. So I have, I've sold quite a few Doc Martens that I purchased here. So I do always look for those. We got some Adidas down here. I do feel like I haven't been grabbing much out of the, the, the black section lately over here. The black shoes. I don't know why. I just, I haven't been catching too much. I dig, I mean, I got a pair of dance goes, but you know, for me, that's kind of a normal. Oh, these are nice. Look at these Bionics. I like those. Those are adorable. Yep, we'll put those in the cart. Okay. So that was a cute find. I did like those. All right, so let's head to the back of the store and, and we'll check out the, the carts and stuff. All right. Hi everyone, I wanna do a quick recap of what the things I found at the Goodwill. Um, so I did get a few things today. I got this really cute uh, Disney Mickey uh, Minnie Mouse crossbody, a pair of Vionics, a nice pair of um, Sorrells. These are in really nice condition. A pair of Michael Kors, or like little espadrilles. I also got a soft surroundings dress. Um, I did get a small pair of dance goes. I thought these were really cute. They're like a Cole Haan brown Oxford, but they're actually women's. Um, I also got a pair of little brown Ralph Lauren lace-ups. I just thought they were really cute. Um, I also got a Mickey and Minnie, and I've got to do a little clean on it, but it is a, um, who made this? It's a Bradford Exchange uh, Mickey and Minnie wallet. So I had never really seen anything from Bradford Exchange like this, but it's really cute. It's, it seems like it's leather. Um, so, you know, I'm just gonna clean up a little and, and give it a, and list it. So I spent a total of $62 at the Goodwill. So, you know, not a ton. I feel like I got some neat items today also. And it was nice because a lot of the items weren't marked up. So that was a, that's a really good day for me. Um, as usual, thank you so much for watching. Um, the link to my eBay store is in my link tree uh, in the about section. Um, as usual, I appreciate everyone that watches. I truly do. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, please do like, share, all of those things. I will see you next time. Bye for now.